Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is Cranky Krabby. So we're we'll going to this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to GameTube as it helps a lot and is greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of Cranky Krabby. So previously in our Puppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the characters from The Forgotten Critters. These are a bunch of concept critters that were meant to be a backup and replace any of the original toys if they ever got discontinued. So far the characters we've met have been Patience Panda, Sweet Sheep, Bull Bullino, and Shy Shelby. Each of these toy characters have been abandoned and live in the deep depths of the factory. Some of them have been peaceful creatures, and others not so much. But above all, the most dangerous and dastardly was Bull Bullino. After he was saved and repaired by the prototype, he was now obsessed with changing all the critters into powerful altered versions of themselves. And the next unfortunate character we're about to meet will become one of these altered critters. So this specific character is named Cranky Krabby. This unique looking smiling critter is an unreleased character that was in the running to replace Catnap. But like all the others, unfortunately he wasn't chosen. It seems that people thought his design was a little too unique to fit with all the other characters. They also thought that his personality trait didn't really fit in well with the happy vibe of the toy line. Cranky Krabby. This is one crab that you don't want to tick off. With his incredibly short fuse, who knows when he'll lose his temper. But no matter how angry he gets, he'll always have his friends to calm him down. Scent Cinnamon. So it seems that the idea of a grumpy character wasn't received well at all. So the company quickly decided to scrap the idea and toss Cranky away into the depths. Of course, this made Cranky Krabby incredibly angry. Whilst in a fit of rage, he destroyed anything that got in his way. There was nothing that could calm him down. And he didn't want to be calmed down. Angry is what he is. And angry is what he'll stay. But that anger would only grow stronger after he met a special someone in the depths. And that someone was Bull Bullino. Bully didn't want to calm Cranky down, he instead saw great potential. With all that rage built up inside of him, Bully wanted to find a way to harness it and use it to his advantage. He promised Cranky Krabby that he would improve him and make him even more powerful and destructive than he ever imagined. Cranky agreed and Bully took him to see the prototype. And after all the work was done, the prototype's gift to Krabby was quite destructive indeed. He now had the ability to produce explosive bombs inside of his body, and he would launch them out of his mouth. With this new destructive power, Cranky Krabby could unleash as much rage as he wanted. Nothing could stand in his way. Any annoyance or obstacle could be destroyed in a matter of seconds. But eventually he would make a grave mistake. Cranky Krabby produced a bomb so large that it got lodged in his mouth. He couldn't open his jaw or release the bomb, so it will be stuck there until it eventually goes off. Cranky Krabby unintentionally made himself into a ticking time bomb, and as to when this bomb blows, it's anyone's guess. So now we return back to the player. After escaping the clutches of Shy Shelby, they continue their journey back to the surface. The area they find themselves in seems pretty run down. Half of this place has been destroyed, and the player has to swing from ledge to ledge. It's almost like this place has been hit by a bomb. Even the walls in this place have been destroyed. Was Bull Bullino smashing through the walls again? No, this looks different. The walls were almost burnt and damaged. In fact, it does look like a bomb went off in this area. Regardless, the player needs to get out of here before they end up being destroyed as well. Eventually, the player finds what they are looking for. Finally, a way up. It looks like this ladder could lead them to the upper levels or even the surface. So they begin to climb the ladder and find out where it takes them. They climb up and reach another level. It looks like the ladder didn't reach the top, but it's still higher than they were before. But like always, there was a bit of a problem. The way forward was blocked by rubble. This must have been caused by all the explosives in the area. It seems the player will have to find a way past all this rubble. So they walk through the hole in the left wall and see where it takes them. They enter into an open area and don't see much. Then all of a sudden, a large red claw slams down towards them. The player dodges it and turns around to see who it is and standing behind them was Cranky Krabby. This large, angry-looking creature was trying to destroy them. But what happened to this smiling critter? He has sharp metal teeth, and it looks like a bomb is lodged in his eye. What's even stranger is that it looks like there's a large bomb lodged in his mouth. 
How did that get there? The player has no idea how that could have happened. Regardless, Cranky Krabby sure does look angry. In fact, he gets so angry that the fuse on the giant bomb starts to spark. This can't be good. The bomb inside him was about to blow. The player quickly backs away from Cranky Krabby and something strange happens. The fuse suddenly goes out. It must only light up when Krabby is super angry, and the player being near him was the cause of that anger. So the player needs to keep their distance or else they'll be blown to smithereens. But Cranky Krabby keeps advancing towards them. If he gets close enough, it will be all over. But this does give the player an idea. Maybe they can lure him to the rubble blocking the way, and hopefully he would detonate and clear a path. It was a dangerous idea, but it was worth a shot. So the player continues backing up, always keeping an eye on Cranky. They need to loop back around to the rubble and make sure they get close enough so he explodes. But how was the player going to escape this explosion? They would need to figure that out when the time was right. So whilst keeping Krabby at a distance, they also have to be careful of his strong claws. The longer this goes on, the angrier he is going to get. Sometimes he'll charge towards the player and try to snap them up in his claws. And whilst they're trapped in those strong vice-like claws, the bomb would eventually go off. So the player needs to dodge those attacks when they happen. Eventually the player leads Cranky Krabby back to the rubble. It was now or never. They needed to make sure the bomb went off and they could get to safety. When Cranky Krabby was in the correct position, the player put their plan into action. They quickly shoot their grab hand towards the bomb that's lodged in his eye. They grab onto it and pluck it out. Cranky Krabby is now furious. The fuse for the bomb burns even brighter and faster than before. The player throws the bomb directly at Krabby's mouth, and just before the two bombs collide, the player quickly climbs back down the ladder. Then suddenly they hear a large explosion, followed by a giant fireball. They did it! It seems Krabby had finally exploded and hopefully cleared the way. The player climbs back up, and sure enough, the way ahead was cleared. But there was no sign of Cranky Krabby. An explosion of that size would have surely destroyed him. But regardless, the player moves on and makes their way to the next area. Hopefully soon they can find a way out of this place and get to the upper areas. But the higher they surface, the more critters they will encounter. And as to who the next forgotten critter will be, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Cranky Krabby is a pretty interesting character to add to our roster of characters. He offers a challenging gameplay mechanic where they can't get too close or he'll explode. I also think his design is pretty interesting and I think he would fit in awesome with these forgotten critters. He would always try to get close to the player and when he did, he would surely go out with a bang. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. It helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Cranky Krabby and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until our next Poppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later. Bye.